Good morning and welcome to Holy Mass. It's Thursday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. You know, it's a very powerful reading. I, I, I think um, we have today in the reading from the prophet Isaiah. The prophet is, is talking about um, the joy that people have in God, acknowledging our weakness, acknowledging our sin, but also acknowledging the power of God. But given how ancient this book is, we're also beginning to see something, a glimpse of something. The prophet is reflecting on the relationship between the individual and God. What's the future of that relationship if I'm faithful and earth? And he begins to glimpse a life after death. It's not fully fleshed out. There's more that will come over the centuries. But here we're beginning to hear something of it, of rising from the dead, of being with God. And that allows us uh, to look at our own lives and to ask, yeah, I'm serving God here on earth because of the, not only the love that God has for me, but because I want to be with God, not only here but in life after death. And to achieve that, I have to ask God to help me to be good, to be holy, to turn away from sin. And that's what we do this morning. We ask forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The path of the upright man is straight. You smooth the way of the upright. Following the path of your judgments, we hope to you, Lord. Your name, your memory, are all my soul desires. At night, my soul longs for you, and my spirit in me seeks for you. When your judgments appear on earth, the inhabitants of the, of the world learn the meaning of integrity. Lord, you are giving us peace, since you treat us as our deeds deserve. Distressed, we search for you, Lord. The misery of oppression was your punishment for us. As a woman with child near her time rise and cries out in her pangs, so are we, O Lord, in your presence? We have conceived, we hide, as if we were given birth. We have not given the spirit of salvation to the earth. No more inhabitants of the world are born. Your dead will come to life. Their corpses will rise. Awake, exalt all you who lie in the dust. For your Jew is a radiant Jew, and the land of ghosts will give birth. 
the word of the Lord. The response to our psalm. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, will endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for this is a time to have mercy, for your servants love her very stones, are moved with pity even for her dust. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nation shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again and, then, and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labour and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy. And my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. So pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. And grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. In the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you my lord and my god in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope. The coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share with each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Uh, would you join me with that? Prayer for receiving a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm thinking of what's growing with the rain coming down now, there's one certain thing, and that's the weeds. They'll be die high by tonight. Well, the Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.